are a host of firsts this week as the Joburg Open moves to a new venue, a new date in the European Tour International schedule and becomes the maiden tri-sanctioned golf tournament on South African soil. Here's the lowdown. Home favorite Darren Fickard held his nerve to win the weather-affected Joburg Open and claimed his fifth European Tour title, posting a 4 under PAR 68 to finish one shot clear of nearest challengers Stuart Manley of Wales and Englishman Paul Waring. The tournament was reduced to 54 holes after thunder, lightning, and subsequent course flooding at Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club forced play to be abandoned before the leaders had started their third rounds on Saturday afternoon. There was another two-hour delay before play resumed on Sunday morning and South African Pickard, who began his third round tied at the top of the leaderboard alongside Waring, started brightly when he finally teed off, notching birdies at the first, sixth, and eight to get to 14 under. Pickard's lead was cut to a single stroke when Waring and Manley picked up shots at the 16th and 18th respectively, and he dropped into a share of the lead when he carded his only bogey of the day at the 17th after narrowly missing his tricky PAR putt. But he bounced back with a close-range birdie at the last to return to 15 under and secure victory. By finishing in the top three, Pickard, Manley and Waring all secured spots at the 146th Open Championship at Royal Birkdale. South African major winner Louis Oas Chuizen heads the largest field on the European Tour this season, with over 200 players set to tee it up over two courses at Rand Park Golf Club. It's a new era for the event as it becomes only the second tournament to be tri-sanctioned by the European Tour, Asian Tour, and Sunshine Tour, after the Afrasia Bank Mauritius Open, and the first on South African soil. Last year's champion Pickard returns to defend his title and he is joined by another three former winners of the event fellow South Africans George Kutze and Haydn Porteus, and three-time European Tour winner Anders Hansen of Denmark, whose last title came at this in-tournament in 2009. Recently crowned graduate of the year Dylan Fritelli is seeking back-to-back -back wins, a third European Tour title and a first on home soil, having won last week's Afrasia Bank Mauritius Open and will no doubt provide inspiration to the eight newly graduated Challenge Tour players in the field, including Road to Oman winner Tapio Pult Cannon of Finland. Other European Tour winners who will tee it up this week include England's Matt Wallace, South Africans Thomas Aiken and Dean Burmester and Ashan Wu of China. Rand Park Golf Club will host the Joburg Open for the first time as the tournament moves away from its traditional home at Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club, which is undergoing extensive upgrades to its east course. As well as a new venue the event has a new date, moving from its traditional position early in the calendar year to become the fourth event on the 2018 schedule. Rand Park is the only club in Johannesburg to have three golf courses, two distinctive 18-hole layouts known as Bush Willow and Firethorn and the 9-hole Creek 9. The Yoburg Open will be played over both the Firethorn and Bush Willow courses. Firethorn is a true test of championship golf, with what is described as a death or glory final three holes. It was established in the mid-1960s when Rand Park Golf Club bought land adjacent to the existing Windsor Park course, now renamed Bush Willow and turned it into a remarkable layout designed by a local professional golfer and course architect, Sid Bruce. The course, which hosted the SA Open in 1995 and 2000, underwent green and aesthetical modifications in the early 1990s, with a further facelift at the turn of the millennium. Bush Willow was founded in the 1940s during the Second World War, and was originally a 12-hole layout. In 1948, the course was extended to a full 18 hole course and four years later it underwent a complete overhaul by course designer Robert Grimsdale. In April 2012, in celebration of its 60th birthday, Bush Willow underwent a small renovation, changing the layout somewhat and adding new green complexes. The picturesque course is fairly short from tee to green and very well protected by rows of large trees alongside all fairways, making for some tight and extremely challenging holes.